Hello, my Sense Siblings. It's Yulia Graham here, and this is SenseSiblings.ca. The .ca refers to Canada, which is where my parcel containing this fancy ring light came to in a record six days. And the Sense Siblings refers to the name of my channel, which has to do with the fact that I hope that we can come together as a community to nurture one another and to talk about all things that smell wonderful. Yesterday I posted on my Instagram a combination that I do when it's going to be both below and above zero on the same day. And so I just thought I would really quickly, it's never quick, pop on here and just talk about that just a tiny little bit. And so if you're interested in how that came about and what that's all about, keep watching. Today we have one of those days where I live that Mother Nature doesn't know what she wants. She gets up and she stretches and she looks out the window and she's like, hmm, I don't know what I want. Do I want last season or do I want this season? Do I want a little bit of winter, a little bit of spring? I don't know why Mother Nature has a pretentious British accent. She just does. So on days like today, it's kind of tricky to pick what you would like to wear uh, because you're still looking for a little bit of what you love in a winter perfume and you're still looking for something that might lighten it a little bit. A lot of times when I tell people that I'm starting to film YouTube videos and that I still don't know very much uh, about scent or videos, I get the comment that, oh, I'm gonna, I want to learn about perfume, so I'm going to go uh, subscribe to your channel. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Do not subscribe to my channel if you think you're going to learn something about anything at this point. If you want to learn something about something, to do with fragrance at this point, I would like to refer you to four people I think who could teach you a lot and really entertain you along the way. Maria Colette, my scent guru hero. Uh, Servus Fragrance, who knows about music and scent, who, whose channel is just wonderful. I'll link them below. Soki London does entire series on different notes within perfume and Ouch 110, trained to be a perfumer, so I'm going to link all of them below. But having said that, if you are here, it's not because you want to learn anything, it's because you're supporting me. Mwah. But today I just wanted to go through and just say a little bit about the combination that I've come up with. Uh, well, I've come up with, I'm sure a million people have come up with it. In fact, some people say that the Sofia Vergara fragrance, Sofia is what would happen if La Vie est Belle by Lancôme and Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel had a baby. So I can't speak to that, but what I can speak to is the fact that these two separately are amazing. Both of these are known in the industry for their uh, longevity and performance, sillage, all of those things. So if you're watching this video and all of that's gobbledygook to you, it was to me too. Both of these have great longevity. That is, they last a long time. They both have great projection. That is, they precede you when you walk into a room. Both of them have lovely sillage vocabulary time. Sillage in the scent world, as far as I can tell, refers to the scent trail that it leaves behind. Say you walk into an elevator and then you walk out of the elevator, a little bit of that will stay in the elevator. That's my understanding of sillage. And then they both become a beautiful skin scent. I don't know, does that smell like skin? To me, I didn't understand skin scent, so here's my effort to just say a little bit about what I think I've learned. Correct me if I'm wrong down below, but a skin scent, what these would turn into would be a skin scent. So right now, I just put these on, I layered them, and they project, that is to say that people around me within like six feet probably can, can get a beautiful idea of what I'm wearing. And they also leave a trail, so there's really good sillage. 
in about six to eight hours, that's how long it takes for these, this is going to become a skin scent, which means that basically somebody has to be pretty much humping your leg to, no, I'm sorry, I'm gonna get fired from YouTube for saying humping your leg. Um, basically, you would have to be really up in that person's business to smell it. So when I get home after wearing this combination, my husband hugs me and says, mm, you smell good. So that's a skin scent where you have to be humping the first one. These two are amazing on their own when it comes to all of those attributes and when you put them together they are absolutely lovely what you get i put this one on as my base and i put some here and here and here and here and here three four sprays and what you get is a beautiful deep base if you look at the notes here you will see that they do have some things in common which makes them lovely for layering so for example in La Via Belle, you get, is a deep, warm, beautiful, people call it a gourmand, but I don't have the inclination to eat this. It's a warm vanilla and patchouli scent. To me, it's deep, it's sexy, it's sultry. If you look on Fragrantica, you'll see that the notes are, um, there's orange blossom in here, there is vanilla and patchouli and some other florals. To me, this is a deeper, sexier scent, and so I put it on the bottom as the base. So this is what the winter part of it is for me in terms of the warmth, the coziness, the cuddle factor. This is what I put on the base. So in the morning, this is where uh, we are at in the morning because it was minus eight on my way into work. Now. When I leave work today, or as the day progresses, it's going to warm up to probably, I'm gonna say, plus eight on the plus side. Um, so this scent, it's not unlike the other one insofar as this one, instead of the um, citrus blossom, right, the orange blossom, did I say that in this one? This one has orange blossom. This one has actual citrus as its opening note. It's a beautiful citrus fragrance at the top. And then this one has rose. The other one has flower. This one then also has a lot of patchouli, but in this one, the patchouli is bright and sparkling and gives it, I always say patchouli is more of a sensation than it is a scent to me. This patchouli, to me is bright and sparkly and here it's earthy and grounding and when you put them together you get something that is deep yet light you get something that is sultry yet flirty you can see that there is a dichotomy happening here sort of the duality of the fragrance, which matches the duality of the weather. Let's face it, it's cold in the morning and you want something warm and cuddly and in the afternoon it's warm and you want something sparkly. So these are the things that, um, these are the reasons why I layer these two together. I've never not gotten a compliment with this combination. I started doing it well before my obsession went full blown. I started layering these and the very first time I tried it last summer, three people complimented me. Then I started wearing it again in the spring um, and I get a compliment every time I wear it. These are both, remember I said about the projection and all of the performance and everything? You can smell both of these through a mask and when you put them together, you can smell them through a mask, but not in a way of like, oh my word, what is that smell? But more like, oh my word, what's that smell? So I'm sorry about the thing about humping the leg and here it is. This is my combination for when it's still cold in the morning and I have my heater on in my car and I wanna be cozy. But I know full well by afternoon, I'm going to have my sunroof down. This is the combination that I use and it has garnered me many, many compliments. I hope that today's video was slightly more scent contented, not a word, than they usually are. And I hope that you enjoyed the ring light, which I'm super thankful for. And then I. 
this video is actually officially over, so if you're not interested in hearing me gush for about, I don't know, three minutes, then I'm Yulia Graham, this is sensiblings.ca, and we'll see you in the next one. Just, I wanted to say thank you to uh, everybody for supporting me on the Insta. There are lots of videos that I wanna make in the future and lots of videos that I've already filmed but haven't edited yet because I've actually had work to do. So thank you for joining me in this one. I hope to bring you a lot more. I just wanna put the disclaimer out there, okay? I'm not doing these videos to glut the internet and to get a million viewers yet. I don't promote my channel as much as I could or should because at this point, these videos are more for me than they are for anyone else. I wanna learn how to speak into the camera. I wanna learn not to jiggle the camera, sorry. I wanna learn what looks best in the light and the camera and how to speak, whether it's loudly and with vigor and excitement or if it's slowly like some of the other people. I don't wanna imitate anyone, I wanna be myself. I want to learn and so these videos are for me to learn more than they are to teach but along the way I do I don't want to be known for these videos but I also want the experience to be genuine so that was a long way to go for I'm really sorry for the quality so far for the backdrop for the fact that I come into work ridiculously early to film these things um, for the fact that I don't know all the things and I know that no one knows all the things I don't want to imitate anybody I don't want to step on anyone's toes I don't want to insult anybody or alienate anybody but I guess just by virtue of being me I'm gonna say things like hump your leg and that's how it's going to be sorry not sorry but sorry so I'm Yulia Graham thank you for joining me this is sent siblings Dot ca and if you're interested my Instagram is the same name and so you can join me there thank you again a million times for watching thank you to Maria Colette who's going to kill me one of these days she can be like dude I don't even know you you need to stop saying my name in your videos and she's gonna do one of these and magic fairy dust is gonna fly out of her fingers through the internet and choke me out because she's tired of me and I I deserve it. I also want to thank Service Fragrance, Andreas, who has been a wonderful support. I'm such a fan. It's not, it's, it's ridiculous. I'm a fan of both of these folks, as well as the others that I mentioned down below. Please check them out if you want to learn something. And if you want me to teach you something, let me know. The best way, in my experience, what I know, the best way to learn something is to have to teach it to somebody else. So I'm interested in learning, but I'm also interested in sharing that learning with you. That was a really long way to go. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, Sense of Links.